Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you, just talked um, in a few days. So I thought I would come and check on everyone and see how you guys are all doing. And I wanted to share um, a cool personal development thing that I learned today. I didn't, I don't know if I like learned it necessarily, but I heard it and it was really good and it reminded me. I feel like just even when I know something, just by hearing something again, it helps to like solidify it or like bring it to the forefront of my mind. So that's what we're going to talk about today. It's like a mindset thing. Hope you guys are doing your personal development. It really helps. And this is my pre-workout. I did two scoops today. I've been doing two scoops lately because apparently a thousand milligrams of quercetin is good for your immune system, which is two scoops, a thousand milligrams. And I put a scoop of collagen in as well. And then it's just water. It's just all plant-based. But I'm almost done, and then I'm gonna jump in at 11 to do the in the virtual gym, which is in the pin post here. Um, so, what was I gonna say? Oh, this helps. Uh, okay, so what I heard is I was listening to um, Rachel, the, what's it called? The Start Today Show, the Rachel Hollis and Dave Hollis this morning, and then she left, and then he was talking about mindset, and one of the things he was talking about was that a leader, needs to be honest and positive. And I thought that was perfect combination, like perfect. Because, okay, so honesty obviously builds trust. So that's super important. But not honesty like, I'm really depressed all the time. <laughs> this is the way I am. Like if you're in that honesty, then you need to work on your mindset because you can't just be, come on and be like, I don't wanna do my workout, it's horrible. I hate everything about working out. Like, you can't be like that, right? But you can't, there also, you can't be like, yeah, I love working out, it's so great. I love everything and I like to eat healthy and, <laughs> which I do, but um, if you don't, you have to be honest, right? And I think it's, I think those two things are super important. So like, um, honesty, but positivity and um, working on your mindset to be that positive person and to be that light and to help people to realize and I feel like as a leader it's super important you don't have to be perfect I already I shared my journey in here you guys all know and I don't I think that I look strong on those pictures I'm really proud of myself I'm working on loving myself a lot and not like looking at myself as imperfect although I mean obviously I have imperfections everybody does but those are society's perceived imperfections because society thinks you need to look like a stick figure and a stick figure is not healthy. <laughs> a stick figure has stops menstruating. A stick figure isn't, yeah, stops menstruating and can't have babies. <laughs> a stick figure has low body fat, so low that it affects your bone density. No, no. Like, I just want to be strong. I know that lifting weights, which I'm doing today, and my program, and just anything that keeps your muscles strong, builds strong, strength training, builds strong muscles, which strengthen, strengthens the underlying bone. And I eat healthy foods, fruits and vegetables, mostly plant-based because it strengthens my immune system, because it gives me energy, because it makes me feel amazing. And so there's that. I also think that I love Joyce Myers as far as personal development. So if you're a Christian, which most of us are in here, um, I would definitely recommend reading, um, or reading, well, reading her books too. Mom, but yes. I don't see your friends. I don't, why are you not calling them? Oh, maybe I should like tag some people. Okay, let's tag a few people. Hold on. Um, so we're talking about mindset. Mine. Um, hold on, I forgot. What, what, um, can we, can you text a uh, grandma? No. Did you text grandma? No, not today, but maybe later. Let's text her. Right now, we're going to work out. <coughs> I'm only text grandma, please. Okay, later. Please just text her. Hold on. Okay, Easton, stop. <coughs> okay, do you want to get your chair? Um, uh, yes. Okay, go get your chair. But carry it. I forgot what I was saying. Um, um, 
Oh, about Joyce Myers. Okay. <laughs> um, she has some really good books, but her podcast, um, Enjoying Everyday Life, is really good. Yeah. <laughs> and it... Um, just I, Oh, one of the I, things she says is that like I, we should drink water. Can I see what's in there to see if your tools are safe? One of the things she says about drinking water is that the only thing God gave us to drink is water. And that, like, Anna, I don't know, that's really I have, helpful um, to me. one of your tools? No. Mom, no. show them. No. Please, can Hey, I... why don't you show the... them your goldfish? No. They, they turn to zombie goldfish. And they want to eat my goldfish. Okay, so I'm going to finish talking. So then, Mom. so you can either be quiet and stand here Mama. or you can go play with your toys. Mommy. What? Just let me show one of yours. Please, no. one, one, no. one. Okay, one thing. Okay, I'll just show. <laughs> What's I saying? Um, oh, yeah. And so, anyway, so the point is, is you don't have to be, in fact, you don't have to be perfect to be a leader. You don't have to be, like, super skinny or, like, that's not inspiring. Like, I don't think that's inspiring at all, personally. Um, I think someone who is kind and encouraging and strong and showing up and um doesn't push themselves on others but like offers encouragement um and also is open-minded um to different like just balance as long as the nutrition is balanced i don't believe in keto um no um and i don't believe in like weird See, keto this is a tool. yeah I don't believe in weird I keto say a to- a toy. drinks. A toy. I said. A <laughs> I just tool. believe in fr- fruits and vegetables and food that came from the earth and a drinking pool. water and plant based and wants to super eat a poop, like just nutrients and exercise. A poop, a poop, a poop. Not over exercising. Poop, a poop. Mommy. Yes. What is this for? It's for opening bottles. Oh, it is. I think it might be broken. No, it's not broken. Oh, it's not. Okay. <laughs> um. And, like, confident and, like, loving and encouraging and not, like I said, not needing to be perfect. You don't need to be perfect to help anyone. And, in fact, perfection is really hard to relate to. So it's sort of not very helpful as a coach to be perfect because who could relate to perfection? But um, if you show up as your authentic self, actually being authentic and honest and positive is a lot more relatable than, um, yeah than this perfect ideal of something of anything. So I really thought that was really helpful. I loved the the concept of a leader being honest and positive. I think that was really helpful. And like I said, you don't need to be perfect to start your journey. You don't need to be perfect to help someone else. You definitely, um, I don't even know if anyone can achieve, obviously nobody can achieve perfection anyways. You just need to be consistent and show up and positive and encouraging. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.